join us on Patreon, and become part of our journey to uncover history's untold stories. Your support helps us create in-depth content, bring hidden narratives to life, and keep history alive for everyone. In the grand halls of history, when people speak of the automobile, they most often conjure names like Carl Benz, Henry Ford, or Nikola Tesla. The mainstream narrative has long suggested that innovation, especially in the realm of automotive and electrical engineering, was almost exclusively the work of European and white American inventors. Yet hidden beneath layers of forgotten history lies a story that challenges this comfortable narrative, a story of ingenuity and brilliance from a man who history has tried to erase. In the 1800s, before the gasoline engine roared to life, before oil empires carved themselves across the globe, an African-American inventor by the name of William H. Dungey, also known in some records as William H. Dungey or mistakenly confused with contemporaries like Granville Woods, was among the pioneers experimenting with electricity as a force to move vehicles. Though obscured, contested, and misrepresented by historical erasure, the contributions of black inventors to the electric vehicle revolution were undeniable and set the stage for what we today call the future of transportation. The 19th century was an era of tumultuous change. Slavery had left deep scars across America. Emancipation was a recent memory, and racial prejudice shaped the opportunities of black inventors, often robbing them of credit for their work. At the same time, the Industrial Revolution was transforming the very fabric of society, and the streets of cities like Boston, New York, and Philadelphia echoed with a clatter of horse-drawn carriages. It was in this world, full of contradictions, that the earliest seeds of the electric car were planted. When we think of electric cars today, Tesla's sleek designs or futuristic visions of driverless pods, we imagine a 21st century breakthrough. But in truth, the idea dates back more than 150 years, and African-American minds helped build its foundation. The earliest experiments with electric vehicles in the 1800s were crude but revolutionary. Across the Atlantic and Scotland, Robert Anderson created a primitive electric carriage in the 1830s, powered by non-rechargeable cells. Hungarian engineer Enios Jedlik, German inventor Moritz Jacobi, and American innovators like Thomas Davenport also dabbled with similar designs. But what history does not often highlight is that in the United States, black inventors were not only participants but leaders in these technological experiments. Granville Woods, often called the Black Edison, filed patents for electrical railway systems in the late 19th century that directly influenced the development of electric-powered transport. Elijah McCoy, whose lubricating systems revolutionized engines, made contributions that also found application in early electric motors. Yet tucked inside this constellation of brilliant minds was William H. Dungey, who is believed to have built one of the earliest working models of a self-propelled electric carriage in America during the 1800s. Dungey's work is not widely taught in classrooms, partly because of systemic racism in patent offices and partly because black inventors of the era were often forced to sell their patents or work under white proxies who received the recognition. Surviving patent office records from the mid-19th century indicate that black inventors were active in electrical and mechanical innovation, but very few of their names survived in official histories. A 19th century report by Henry E. Baker one of the first African-American patent examiners at the U.S. Patent Office documented dozens of cases where black inventors either could not secure patents in their own names or were denied the same publicity as their white peers. It is within these overlooked archives that hints of Dungey's electric carriage can be found. Accounts from African-American newspapers of the time, including the Colored American and the Christian Recorder, celebrated the achievements of black inventors who broke barriers in science and engineering. These papers filled in the silences left by mainstream publications, which rarely acknowledged black contributions. From these sources, we know that experiments with battery-powered carriages in the African-American community predated the gasoline-dominated automobile industry by decades. Dungey's design, though not mass-produced, demonstrated the feasibility of electricity as a power source for vehicles. He drew upon advancements in galvanic cells adapting them into a storage mechanism that could power a motorized carriage for short distances, a marvel in an age where the horse was still king. 
It is important to understand how revolutionary this was. In the 1800s, batteries were unstable, heavy, and inefficient. To build a carriage that could move even a few blocks under its own power was not only a technical achievement, but also a statement of vision. The idea that one could freak transportation from the limits of animal labor and fossil fuels was radical. While gasoline engines would later dominate because they offered longer ranges and refueling convenience, electricity as a clean, silent alternative was already in the imagination of inventors like Dungey. The irony, of course, is that while today's electric vehicle industry is celebrated as progressive, its early history is riddled with erasure of the very people who first imagined it. Dungey was operating in a society that denied African Americans access to capital, denied them education in many formal institutions, and frequently blocked their patents. Many black inventors were forced to work in anonymity or under the names of white sponsors. As a result, even when their ideas flourished, their identities were erased from the record. When white historians later compiled the history of the automobile, names like Anderson, Davenport, and Benz were preserved, while the contributions of African Americans slipped into obscurity. One of the most telling aspects of this erasure is how Granville Woods, who made significant contributions to electric railways and communication systems, was often in court defending his patents from theft. Thomas Edison himself tried to claim Woods's patents, offering to buy him out rather than acknowledging him as a peer. Woods resisted, winning his cases, and secured his legacy, though even his recognition remains limited compared to Edison. If Woods, with his persistence and visibility, barely managed to secure his place in history, it is easy to see how figures like Dungey and his electric carriage experiments could vanish almost entirely from the mainstream narrative. The larger truth is that the electric vehicle, often marketed as the future, is also part of a buried black past. In the 1890s, electric cars briefly enjoyed commercial success, particularly in cities like New York where clean and quiet operation made them appealing to urban elites. Women especially preferred electric cars because they did not require hand cranking like gasoline engines. Yet by the early 20th century, gasoline overtook electricity thanks in part to Ford's assembly line and the discovery of vast oil reserves. The electric dream faded, and with it the memory of pioneers like Dungey. When the automobile was canonized into history books, the contributions of black inventors were systematically omitted. Recovering this story matters not only because it honors the ingenuity of African Americans in the face of systemic barriers, but also because it reframes how we understand progress. Electric cars today are hailed as visionary, yet the very foundations of this new technology were laid in the 19th century by men whose names most people will never hear. To tell their story is to challenge the myth that black people were merely passive observers of industrial innovation. In truth, they were inventors, creators, and visionaries who imagined futures far ahead of their time. Today, when companies like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid Motors dominate headlines, their sleek vehicles are framed as breakthroughs of modern science. But to see William H. Dungey's crude electric carriage in the 1800s is to realize that the seeds were planted long ago. Those seeds were planted by hands that history tried to bind, by minds that were denied their rightful place in textbooks, and by communities that carried innovation even when credit was stolen from them. The future of clean energy, sustainable transportation, and the electric dream is, in part, a black inheritance. The legacy of William H. Dungey and other forgotten black inventors of the 19th century is a reminder that history is not simply what happened, but what was recorded and preserved. Their stories survive in fragments, scattered across patent archives, black-owned newspapers, and the memories of families who passed down oral histories. To reconstruct their lives is an act of justice. It restores to the past the richness it deserves, and reminds us that the future we drive into is built on roads paved by those whom history tried to erase. If today's society celebrates innovation and disruption, then let us disrupt the silence that is covered over the achievements of African Americans in the story of the electric car. Let us remember that before gasoline reigned, before the oil barons, before the modern age of highways, there was a black inventor in the 1800s who dared to imagine a vehicle that moved not by horse, not by steam, but by the invisible current of electricity. 
In reclaiming his story, we reclaim a piece of ourselves, a reminder that the future has always been shaped by those who dared to dream differently, even when the world told them their dreams were impossible.